Greetings everyone. In this short video clip I will be discussing the topic of tradition and pointing out that ultimately truth transcends tradition. In human society and civilization we have many traditions that we follow. Different cultures develop different traditions, different families develop different traditions and being a part of that tradition often gives someone a sense of belonging, being a part of their family, their club or tribe. Countries have traditions, religions have traditions, political parties may have traditions. So traditions are really a very integral part of different societies. When people follow a tradition, they tend to believe that there is something beneficial or useful about that tradition. People who practice certain prayers, people who do fasting at a particular time, people who count rosary beads. There are many different types of traditions in many different contexts. Many of our medical practices could be viewed as traditions. And of course, if we look at any tradition, we want to observe whether that tradition is having a beneficial effect, whether it's doing what is desired, what the people practicing that tradition may believe they are doing it for. In some cases, the tradition is very helpful or beneficial. However, in other cases, we may be following traditions that are not truly for our benefit. In some cases, a tradition may be something that was created to manipulate or control people. Therefore, we need to value something beyond tradition and I use the phrase truth in the sense of valuing something that has a greater validity to it. If we practice something in medicine that's not really keeping us healthy, then truth would be to find out what actually would be healthy for us to do. If we engage in a religious tradition, Truth would be discovering some deeper, some greater truth about life or existence that goes beyond whatever is presented in that traditional ritual. There's nothing inherently good or bad about having traditions. They do give us a sense of routine or belonging they can have a positive impact in a family, in a culture. They can help with bonding, with forming community. Yet as we grow on our personal path, we don't want to be limited by traditions. We need to be able to think outside the box, figuratively speaking, and consider if there are better ways to live our life or more helpful practices to develop. If everyone is following a tradition, it doesn't have to be that you as an individual follow that same tradition if you find that there is something better, more valuable or helpful for you. If we look at the concept of truth, will recognize that there are different levels for truth. There are the practical everyday truths, the details of the world that we live in, and then there are transcendental or metaphysical truths, truths about the nature of reality, about spirituality or consciousness. Traditions may give us some pointers or directions toward discovering truths. We may practice a meditation tradition, a prayer tradition. 
a particular shamanic ritual or exercise. Those can be useful traditions or rituals to help us shift our state of consciousness, to help us tune into things from a more expansive realm, from the spiritual plane. However, we don't have to be attached to that tradition or ritual. That practice may not be the only way to access what we are seeking. And if we become too attached to it, it could ultimately become a limitation or restriction. We may feel dependent upon that rather than accessing our higher consciousness in a way that doesn't have limitations attached to it. With all these ideas in mind, I encourage everyone to be open to looking at whatever traditions or practices you have from a more detached state where you can see any benefits or any limitations that may be present in that tradition, where you can look at whatever beliefs or assumptions might be attached to that tradition and explore for yourself whether those are really true or valid or if you've just been kind of blindly accepting what other people concluded and just following along. It's okay to admit that we've been mistaken about something, that we've been misled or misdirected at some point. We're all born into this physical incarnation here relatively naive. We don't have all the knowledge and information that would be needed to make the wisest or best choices all the time. And thus, we do get misled or deceived at times. We do things that are foolish, that may not be healthy or in our own best interests. And it's okay to acknowledge that once we discover it, to accept that and then move forward using whatever greater understanding we've gained to make wiser and better choices for our future. I appreciate each of you for taking your time to explore these topics, to work on your own personal growth and spiritual development. I invite everyone to watch more of the videos on my YouTube channel and visitors there are also encouraged to visit my website at www.phinsights.com and also to visit my Facebook profiles or walls, facebook.com slash Jedi Shaman Reiki and facebook.com slash Jedi Holistic Healing. I wish everyone a good day. Namaste.